All right, hey, what's going on, everybody? We are nighttime trucking once again. We're back to our roots, nighttime trucking. We got the moon behind the clouds out there. Uh, let's go, let's go get in the truck and let's roll. You guys ready for this? You guys ready for this? We gotta roll up to Stockton and pick up the load right now. It loads at midnight. Yeah, late. Yeah, we're nighttime trucking. Nocturnal, let's roll. The one thing I really enjoy about running at night with this truck is that I get to run with all my lights on. All right, let's hop in the way so. All right, so we're on our way, typed in the address. Looks like there's an accident on our way there. No big deal, it's late at night. We should be able to get by it, no problem. But I went ahead and just looked up on the CHP website, you know, what I'd be dealing with, just in case it was something crazy. And uh, man, it's a big rig, overturned, blocking the one and two lanes, so um, it's like a five minute delay, so it would actually take longer for me to kind of try to go around it. Um, it always seems to happen right in the same place, right here on the northbound 99, uh, when you're coming out of Modesto, um, right before you get to, I, I forget what river it is, San Joaquin River, or, uh, I don't remember, but, Nevertheless, right when you get to this river bridge or doing construction, it seems like there's always uh, some accidents right there. Oh, it doesn't even look like he, he rolled it over. Looks like he just took out a whole bunch of guardrail. Yeah, that international, black international, took out that guardrail, but his whole, uh, so that's what's blocking the lanes, is all the debris. So the debris is blocking the lanes, that's it. Cool. Truck, truck driver survived that one. His truck didn't though, that, that uh, driver's side steer tire, steer wheel was completely ripped off. All right guys, I don't know if you uh, could see this on uh, the intro, but that is an Uber Freight Power Loop trailer. And we are picking up a convoy load. So we're, we're double dipping a little bit. Uh, this is a loadout trailer. Um, we did that load on Friday, delivered Saturday morning. We parked the trailer on uh, Sunday and um, rolled up over here to Stockton Sunday night to um, to get this load. So we got our dock. Uh, this place pretty busy. It took two hours before they'd even give us a dock. So uh, we're not gonna make the appointment time that they have set for us. But um, I was looking at it on the map and it's, uh, it's a little market. So I have a feeling that the appointment time isn't gonna be super strict on that one or anything. Uh, but you never know. We'll, uh, we'll see, but I'll definitely uh, call um, convoy and give them a heads up that uh, we're running late that the shipper held us up and um, we'll get some detention on this one depending on how quickly they load us uh, well we're already in in detention time right now so it's been over two hours so we'll see uh, how this goes but just want to show you guys uber freight power loop trailer we're on a convoy load I'll talk to you guys more once we get uh, actually get loaded and get headed down south So uh, we finally got out of there. Uh, it took us four hours to get loaded. Uh, total, total. And because they have you check in, then go park out on the street, and then come back when they call you, um, it confused the convoy app. So when I went to hit 
like uh, request detention. It gave me 16 minutes of detention. So it's a little off. Um, it thinks it thinks I got got in there at whatever time it was. Um, but anyway, so I'm running late to my appointment. Um, the convoy called me. They said, "Hey, we just want to see what time you're going to be there." So when I told them, I, you know, eight o'clock probably for a 6:30 appointment. And they said, okay, we just have to notify the receiver. All right, cool. You do your thing. I mean, it's, uh, it's one of those situations where they made they made an appointment that seemed to make sense. You know, load at midnight there. It's about a four-hour drive. So load at midnight. If you get out of there by 2 o'clock in the morning, you can make it down there no problem to your appointment. But uh, things don't always go as planned. Uh, so anyway, so I got a little a little sleep, um, and uh, we got out of there right at four o'clock. And uh, it was actually kind of cool. You just checked yourself out. You go over there, and you have, there's a little kiosk. You type in your trailer number, and then it pulls up your information. You verify it. You sign it. You uh, they have a pile of seals sitting there. You grab a seal. You type in your seal number, and then you confirm. And then uh, it says, okay, please grab your paperwork and um, make sure you put the seal on. And so I'm kind of looking around, like, you know, does it print, like, out of this kiosk? And then I realize there's a, you know, just a little hole in the window where you used to talk to a person, right? They have the little hole where you can pass your paperwork through. Well, now they just have the printer set up just inside that. And you just reach in and grab your own stuff right off the printer and bounce. So we'll get down here. We'll get this load done. Uh, taken care of and then uh, get it off the truck and then we gotta take this trailer to Van Nuys. So um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys about the rate on this thing once uh, once we get it off the truck and once we do all that. Plus now we got you know an additional should be an additional eighty dollars on the rate uh, because we had to sit over there at the shipper. So um, hey, eighty bucks, eighty bucks. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna whine about getting to take a nap either. That was kind of nice. Uh, probably would have ended up pulling over and taking a nap somewhere anyway, or maybe just taking a nap once I got there, but I probably still will take a nap when I get there. But anyway, catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, we are uh, running on I-5 southbound and down, and we are headed to Taft. We are headed to Taft. They're all effing tweakers. That's what it stands for. Alright, um, I'm going to break down the numbers right now. I'm not going to wait till the end of the video. We're going to do it right now. Right now. So, uh, this load, um, remember I'm using the Uber trailer. So it's a, uh, a loadout where I'm using their trailer to uh, haul the load, Uber's trailer to haul a convoy load, and so um, there's usually more loads available to me. And if I would have waited until today to book a load, Monday, and just uh, returned the trailer uh, a day late, they would have charged me the $50 uh, Uber would have. Uh, but I may have been able to get something a little better than what I got. But I figured, let's keep the truck rolling, let's get down this direction uh, by you know Monday morning being in LA, it'll give me more opportunities to get a good load coming out Monday afternoon, Monday night, and then uh, Tuesday morning if nothing else. So I just figured let's just you know take uh, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, and let's take the bird in the hand. So we did this convoy load, stocked into Taft. That's 235 loaded miles. So. 235 loaded miles um, and I bid $730 so uh, that's 310 a loaded mile but remember that's not how I roll I don't roll that way I gotta find the other mileage right so there's 40 deadhead miles uh, on the front end from my yard to the pickup but then there's also the deadhead miles after we deliver Right, we're going to deliver in Taft, but then we got to take this trailer to Van Nuys. So I'm going to figure that mileage in with this load. That's all going to be this one load. 
So that brings us to a total of 375 miles. So when you do that, that takes us down to uh, the 730 um, for 375 miles, takes us down to a dollar 95 per mile. Dollar 95 a mile, running south from the north, uh, running the night shift. So uh, all of that to say, uh, it's it's less than ideal, but um, we also are uh, getting the we're getting the hang of this, and we we tried to do a loadout trailer for the first time, and there just wasn't that many load loading over the weekend in our area. It's not a big freight area. The big freight area is down south, up north. We didn't have a lot loading on Saturday or Sunday. I tried to get a couple things that loaded on Saturday night, but I lost the bins. So I decided to take this one. It's a little low, but hey, uh, we got we got a load. We're gonna deliver it Monday morning and we'll be ready to rock and roll tonight after we take a little bit of time off. Now, with the uh, uh, detention that we received uh, at the shipper because they held us up there for four hours, that's going to take our rate actually up to 800 uh, or thereabouts, maybe just a tad over 800, but we'll just make it a nice round number, $800. So now if you take that 375 miles we're going, and remember that's all miles, deadheading to the pickup, deadheading after the drop off to drop off the trailer um, in Van Nuys, 375 miles. So takes us to $2.13 a mile for this load after the detention gets added in. So that little $80 takes it from like that below $2 a mile mark to over, um, you know, $2 a mile. And um, that, it makes a big difference, it makes a big difference. Um, but really I was okay with $1.95 a mile too because I know I'm gonna get better than that coming out of LA. Um, I'll probably get closer to like three or 350 a loaded mile, maybe even $4 a loaded mile. And my, you know, those loads have been averaging about uh, 275 to 325 a mile, all miles coming out of LA. After deadhead, after deadheading back to my house, all that stuff. I've been I've been doing pretty good on those loads. So as long as we're keeping the truck moving and we're getting back down to LA to get a good load out of LA, then we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be over our break even point. Um, I have a all right. We are here. We gotta get inside this uh, Save More Market. It would help if I bring the paperwork. Just in case they ask for it. All right. We got a little sprinklage, a little sprinkle action. So, uh, Let's get in here, and then we're gonna have to hit that dock back there. I'm gonna have to flip around, and it's not too bad. It's a pretty deserted street, so we should be okay. In fact, I could probably just pull into this parking lot to get it lined up, but we'll get it going. It's not the tightest dock I've ever seen. It's also not the easiest dock I've ever seen. And actually the hard part is this slope. It's a pretty drastic slope right here. Made it a little bit difficult, a little bit challenging. All right, uh, we made that delivery. That dock was a little interesting. It was just the slope that really got us. Uh, what uh, The trailer was sitting a little low for, for them to get the uh, pallet jack in and out. So I had to... Uh, uh, drop the, the bags on the the uh, tandems on the. Oh, I was like, I was like, what was that noise? Someone on the uh, CB. Anyway, so I had to drop the bags on the drives to kind of like tilt the back of the trailer up a little bit so that they could get the pallet jack in and out a little easier. But other than that, um, this lady unloaded me in like 30 minutes. So it took, took the guys with forklifts four hours to 
to load me took a chick with with a uh and it was an automatic pallet jack, you know, the motorized pallet jack, electric pallet jack, whatever you call it. Uh, but still, she unloaded me in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So, now we're on our way to Van Nuys. We're going to drop this Uber trailer uh, at Anheuser-Busch and uh, on to the next load. Yeah, then we'll wrap this video up. Quick little $800. Start our week off with some freight. Start our week off, uh, you know... Pretty good, pretty good, and uh, we already got some things lined up for later in the week, so we're looking, looking like we're going to be running this week. So uh, it's a good thing. It's a good, good thing. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in Van Nuys. All right, so uh, yeah, we got to Van Nuys, and yeah, I'll be honest, this is some stock footage. This is from the last time I went to Van Nuys. Because when I got there, man, we were just in such a hurry. We were running out of time on our clock. We needed to go and pick up our next load. That uh, four-hour delay at the shipper kind of threw me off the schedule, and I was just in go mode. So I came right down this street right here, Woodley Avenue, I believe it's called, Van Nuys, Los Angeles. Pulled in, checked in with the guard shack. They took down my uh, trailer number and then say go park it anywhere. So I parked it and got the heck out of there. I'll see you guys on the next one. Next load coming up.